Anyway, time to continue on from where I uh, left off yesterday. <clears throat> That's a long ass load screen. Buona sera, Tommy. So that's a five, a six, along with what's in there. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. <laughs> Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is a Sutter guy, L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's see if there's any weapons. Yeah, for free. Frank says no pieces at the racetrack, so no Roscoe for you today, Tom. Get what if I already got a gun? Well, then you already got a gun. Jesus. Just don't go shooting out the European styes. That's not the answer to everything. No, not these days. Damn it. I was hoping to have some guns around with for me. Yeah, well. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's give this a try. <laughs> He's not handled like ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, turn limbs wrong. <laughs> Sort of cops from the assholes. <laughs> I have to admit, driving on racks would be a pain in the ass. Like it with these thin tires. Fortunately. Dropping frames. Oh, it's looking choppy though. Oh, 
my side. Ah, asshole. This thing handles fucking terrible. You, Bobby? Yep. We can take my car through to the garage. It's a ways off. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. You got the money, sure. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. This one where all the tracks are coming. Over. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. I try to keep it one piece, too. So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. I heard. Oh, fuck me. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. <laughs> for all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Shot. That was even worse now. This 
thing would draw the fucking straight line. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Yeah, I don't drive a piece of shit. <laughs> so Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on it. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. <laughs> what were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Ouch. Sent him to the hospital. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, balls. Wait, Frank, Tom, I don't... There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Shit. I want to remember from the original fucking version of this game, this was a bastard to do. Shot favorite Martin Lichtenberg taking some time out of the international series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid, they're ready to start. They're off! Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out! Can I fucking change? Lefty button. The favorite is out. <laughs> Who's going to survive the Los Angeles Circus famous first turn? They're pushing up and I see some coming. Ah, crap! Oh, oh, crap. crap. Hit what? 
Fuck me, it's cars fast. Angelo is still out in front. Can he hold on? Let's go faster. mistake on the last lap. Fuck me. Yes, we saw race. Fuck's sake. Done is out. Replacing him is uh 
Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. The pack falls away, but there are some blurry faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Him, son of a bitch! Don't fight the fucking heroes. I am behind me. Well, actually, no, one mistake behind me. Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake from Angelo. Or a rubber banding fucking problem behind me. Some racing games do have some mechanics. It's fucking annoying. Who's going against the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? Hey, no flip this time. Oh. It's fucking done. Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? Oh. 
Oh, it's one. Fucking nitrous in his cars catch up that quickly. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Huh? Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by your parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. <clears throat> My hero. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the booze. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? <clears throat> you mama made that work easy to Tommy. Hey. When they just started Come racing here damage. 20 years ago, most guys did it, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Oh, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. Well, you enjoy yourself. She sh sure will, Tom. Thanks. Congratulations, Campion. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But Great the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summerly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Some trade, isn't it? I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors for my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll stop to try to clear us out before dark, but ignore us. The Let me check the mic again. How'd she drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong into five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw Good you drive like me. that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? 
Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Christ, you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. That's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me. You can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a blue sign. Gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign, and it says Blue Tropics, and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. Bello tutto, bello tutto, bello tutto,
Talks. Yes. Courier, my seven courier, print still hot, extra, extra. That's why. Okay, it's down some alley right near here. It's like this dark, narrow street. The ladies are on the corner. And there's a blue sign. Yeah, it's a blue sign at the end of the street. It says Blue Tropics. Looks like a dame. <laughs> I feel dirty just driving you there.
That's go. it. That's the place. See? A blue sign. Thank Christ. How you doing? Ah, didn't see that. Charles, it's me, Polly. Ah, jeez. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a pack of boys near her place. The punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing that you don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of this punk, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is close. What's this, then? Uh, Tom is... Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right? Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Okay. I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. Uh, one of these ones where I walk fucking quicker yeah, than she does. We gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's a sh little piece of shit. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. For me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. Is that right? You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Oh. Well. It's, um, uh, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, that is. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signora? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So, yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. Well, if you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Well, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. And these guys going to the hospital. Oh, hey there, darling. Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... You this <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Away from her. Now. Tommy. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. Got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. That bleeding ball. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I wonder when you'd invite me up. 
The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. This next pause. All right. Fucking her. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Ouch. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. <laughs> and the heat's out. God. Miss up though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these oh. sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? Faces are beaten into the sidewalk. <laughs> Time so he's good.
Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Polly and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads. That's all we need. Uh, baseball bats. Sam turned over some guy's wear else and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. Grab some ammo. Break some bones, Tom. Show those punks this neighborhood's ours. Oh, yeah. Oh, that bounce off. What? Hey! Fucking go, you idiot. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he caught yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flex. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. How you doing? Chut mao, lu qin, ni zhang wo dei qin, jiang ni fen chang suo you ge qin bai tai chu lai. Starface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. Mu yong yi fan cha. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station in a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classic ones, Mexican. You're getting suits from Mexico? 
No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. <laughs> Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. <laughs> No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> go get him! Get out of here! Every bone in the body, you say. Jesus. Ooh. Me, little bitch. Clear a path to Billy, Tom. We get to that punk for all the other punks. Take them down. Left trigger. Turn off the bumper.
Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! I'm reloading! Come on, we can't lose them! Oh, careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. <laughs> come on, come on! These guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? They think they're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. <laughs> Dumb son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Okay. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. But this one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah, I just, uh... Hey, let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. 
corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. Uh, that's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. <laughs> Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. <laughs> you want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. It's not like them to leave a mess like this. That's for sure. I have faith in him. Let's see what the day brings. Um. Move it. We haven't got all day. Boom. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? 
When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, Sam. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. He can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Pilate died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, I guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom? If his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope, too. Damn. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, take the next one. Oh. Got me a bit further up. <laughs> you got a death wish or something? Fucking taxi drivers. Here's your stop. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Shoot your ass. You behave yourself in here, okay? Hey, handsome. You here for a girl? Drinks or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush. So get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good.
good afternoon, sir. Ooh, just how I like them. Why don't you find me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like and don't make a fuss. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. The butcher and a hound on a hook. But he was naked. And he didn't know if you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. And then he starts screaming. Damn fool carved his arm in two. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's in, but she's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gonna. She's got fellas in with her all day long. You looking for a good time? Come this way, sweetie. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure, y'all. Come to my room and tell me all about it. I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, not really. Where's Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. Ah, <sighs> wish they were all like you, sweetheart. Treat women like this? You treat your mother like this? No, please! <laughs> Don't like when it's doled out to you, do you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! But you meant it when you did it, you prick! Fuck him up, Charlie. This place ain't for you. Come here. Ah! Ah! Get out! Get out of hell! You, Michelle. What's it to you? 
fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Okay. Not done. This part's gonna get a bit messy. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come on. Well. Let him have it! Yeah, head up.
I don't know. this oh yeah don't worry Rifle, shotgun. Hey, with this. You're dying today. Over here. Get cover.
what it looks like. Uh. Like it. <laughs> well, that works, doesn't work. Yeah, it might be some fire, but it works.
this guy. Get up there and bring him down. <laughs> Contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. <laughs> so what a fucking stat. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes. But he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good... What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Please! Jesus, what was I involved in? Get over here now! Now you're done! Stopped all this days ago. <clears throat> this is the way this city works. Burn him out. Enjoying this.
What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. First aid here. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. You really want to aim that out? Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? We can run and find another, sir. But we got cops everywhere. I got him. As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? The fuck in? Today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. We got them. Officers report they're closing in. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They given up yet? Don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. The guy's got in the way in North Park someplace. Keep looking, he'll turn up. Come on, Tommy, lose him. I'm trying. Go 
back to patrols. We'll get him next okay. time. Okay. We lost him. <sighs> Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. <laughs> We won't be fucking pleased. We turn up in a stupid hearse. We stole. Wow. You drive like this in your old job. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you all <laughs> in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Rella's offices. <laughs> 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do. Except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, that was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A <clears throat> Coletti, a Dom's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. 
When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Ooh. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... <clears throat> you could run this town someday. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, What happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. <laughs> you can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. <clears throat> Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Come on. Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. They storms just raging. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don.
This mama motor is yours, if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says he's sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Bull's racket's where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars that time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Got my god, I'm brake line. Oh, no music. I already had one copyrights. <laughs> Yeah, for the next stream we're gonna have to sort out some uh, copyright free music. I just completely forgot to do a lot of driving around. Should have sorted it earlier. That engine sounds horrible. to get to 50. It's not even 50, it's fucking right. Really. Holy shit, it's struggling. No, 45. Yeah, 45. This car must weigh about 100 fucking tons. It's under the beach. We actually run out of fuel in this game. Oh, that was a big thing if I remember correctly in Mafia 2. I'm not sure if it was a thing in Mafia 1. Or was that gate just there for show? I don't remember. See, it does look pretty, even though it's pissing now. Um. Bike. Did you fucked up okay, huh? Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. 
<laughs> you know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, you see it there later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. <laughs> You're going home to a couch. <laughs> I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. <laughs> Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. We pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. This don't feel right. The axe? Nope. Shoots a dog. Asshole. Where the hell are you hiding? Hey, buddy. <sighs> Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Billy, you got me pinned, have you?
Anton? Polly, what took you so long? We're looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts, the rest of the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Your cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. <laughs> he can't even let us have this one racket. Well, this bastard's gonna get a couple of bullets in the skull. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Mm. Well. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy on. Mm-hmm. Right. They must have a good for now. Eh, no. I'm gonna shock them together for this. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, I can't go that way. Change the handgun. Come on, wherever you are, dickheads. Oh, I see Molotovs. Tommy! You don't want to see this! Jesus. I'll take fire. But apparently. Like we found the Canadians. See Sam in there? No. <sighs> like some. Pilot the corpses. Poor bastards. Can I search more? Yeah. Uh, next. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yeah. Who's next? A rifle shotgun. Shotgun. Uh. All right. Fuck all you want. Let's get a bullet in the skull. Yeah, border cops doing Morello's dirty work. Next. <laughs> Something up in that barn over there, Tom. Shotgun, bitch. Mm-hmm. Well, 
next. Come on, fellas. Push through. Stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Yeah. A present for you. I'll keep the bullets. Sammy. Jesus, what have they done to you? Uh, I think they shot him in the gut. I got clipped. The race has a lot of blood. Can you Nothing walk? Unpleasant. No, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you gonna make it, Sam? Tommy? I'm saying it's pretty close. Stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure, we have. Oh, asshole. Oh, they got fucked. Where did all these guys come from? Send it down, Tom! Thank Christ. Dead. What are you doing? Fuck you out over here. Uh. Help, please. Get him on my back. I'm on a cover. Fuck that guy. Time. Count me out, Tom. I'm hurting over here. Jesus, this hurts. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? It's coming. Crap, we got cops.
Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Bigger dumb. This shit we right <laughs>
Fuck. I have no health, damn it. Don't you start the truck with more fucking health. Fuck me. Uh, not yeah, boom indeed. This, this thing just doesn't want to die. Shoot out their gun when there's a break in the fire. Uh, uh, now, shoot the uh, gun. I've got more goddamn health than the truck. They're reloading. Shoot the turret. Ah, the truck dead again. What the fuck am I meant to do? Shoot me, not the truck. I'm literally too little fucking thing Okay, we're here, tell him. You get Sam out, I'm gonna go wake up and die. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. This is three, I owe you. I still think he's fucked. He's been shot in the gut and went for a fucking chase. He's fucked. What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. <laughs> All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Yeah. Go on, Doc. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. I know what I got to do to the bitch hey. work. You did good tonight. That truck's gotta be full of more fucking holes than actual metal. That was a fucking vicar. Recovery Administration. 
This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. While we are making this great common effort, there should be no discord and no dispute. This is no time to cavil or to question the standards set by this universal agreement. It is time for patience and understanding and cooperation. The workers of this country have rights under this law which cannot be taken from them. Hey. And Apparently, I'm trying to enjoy this time over at, uh... Them away. Uh, what the hell? The oh, medieval times this evening. No is now to those Apparently, his mum got that bloody queen of the tawny the thing. Which usually goes to a little girl. To Fucking taxi employers. driver. Applies to the workers as well. And I ask you workers to cooperate in the same spirit. When Andrew Jackson, old Hickory, died, <laughs> someone asked, will he go to heaven? The answer was, he will if he wants to. If I am asked whether the American people will pull themselves out of this depression, I am Move the sheet box. They will if they want to. The essence of the plan is a universal limitation of hours of work Per week. Hello, so I can any read the message. By common consent. And a universal payment of wages above the minimum. Also by common consent. My friends, I cannot guarantee the success of this nationwide plan. No. But the people of this country can guarantee its success. I have no. I can turn that radio off. Already had copyright crap on my stuff and I sent it over to YouTube because typical YouTube. After this mission, I'm probably going to stop streaming for a bit, get some food, sort out some music. There's a lot of drive in this game, and I can't use the radio because the copyright crap. So I'm gonna have to put music player up in the background. Yeah, it's up to you, mate. You want to jump on? Jump on. Like I said, after this mission, no, I am going to jump off and get some food. I'll also be doing a trip to Morrison sometime tomorrow to get some uh, food in for tomorrow evening and the night after. Probably end up going to pick up a um, pizza meal deal again for the next couple of days. And a spare garlic bread, so I can just stick them in the freezer. Garlic bread and a pizza. Their pizza's are really nice. Add me at food. <laughs> okay, fair enough. How's, how's it going, bro? Ah, fine, mate. I was just... Enjoying playing this game, it's quite fun. A lot of driving, though, so it's a case of I need some music. I fully understand that. I mean, I'm playing craft, and I've got you on the background for me as a uh, background noise. Yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of people do with streams, to be perfectly honest. It's great for that. Oh, yeah. How was the stream, actually? Look, I had a few issues earlier on, but I had a look, and it wasn't on my side. I jumped in about... Bah. I jumped in about an hour, half an hour ago, okay. on my eyes, and the stream has been fine. No oh. issues whatsoever. Okay, I've just had um, some it was skipping around before, so I checked it to see if it was my um, side and I wasn't dropping any frames or anything. It... There was a bit, you know, when you put, when you, just before you destroyed the um, truck with the Vickers gun? Yep. It did. 
sort of jumped slightly there, but I think that may have been my computer doing that because my game froze at the same time. Fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, it's looking perfectly good to me, mate. Yeah, fair enough. Good, good, good. Good scene. You're late. Dinner's cold. That's a fair bit of blood in his coat. Open those sausages uh, earlier on. Okay, the ones from um, Food Warehouse. They were very nice. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't believe, I can't believe uh, they saw myself. Yeah. Hey, Don't bye. feed fucking pigeons in the park. Okay. I came as soon as I get your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we've got to get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. I love the fact that the city seems we'll fine after being chased through it with we'll we'll fucking armored car with pickers gun firing at me. Tell you where to find oh, I know. Don't, you, don't that, you wish that in real life the city's cleaned up that quick? You do what we gotta do. Yep. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Ah, well, I'm gonna call it done for now, I think. Get some food. All right, bro. And stop the stream.
Give me a shout tomorrow when you're heading up to Morrison's, bro. Okay. I might go with you. I might not. Depends. Fair enough. On well, oh, Sunday, so it'll be early. Uh, so anyone that's been watching the stream, thanks for watching. And good evening, guys. Bye.